After 60 hours of sustained resistance from the residents of the Quilombo Campo Grande camp in Minas Gerais, the military police violently evicted the families. The police, who had been trying to evict the residents for the past three days, on August 14th, finally resorted to shooting tear gas canisters, sound grenades, and violence to forcefully remove the residents who are part of Brazil's landless rural workers' movement. Throughout the eviction process on Friday, the military police was live reporting on the eviction and using its social media platforms to slander the residents and the MST. Around 450 families had been living for the past 22 years in the area of the bankrupt sugar mill Adrianopolis, which closed down its activities in 1996. The camp's educational center, Eduardo Galeano Popular School, where children, youth, and adults study, was also destroyed the day before. On Wednesday, August 12th, the first day of the eviction, the governor of Minas Gerais, Romeo Zema, had affirmed on social media that his government was calling for the postponement of the eviction. Despite this, the police forces remained at the camp. According to the MST, the state government affirmed that the suspension request was forwarded to the region where the camp is located, but the request was rejected. The official responsible for the eviction informed the MST that the action would occur as long as there was no official suspension. Quilombo Campo Grande has been occupied by the landless families for the last 22 years and has become a reference point of agroecology in Brazil. Eu sou Tuíra Tuli, a gente está aqui no Quilombo Campo Grande há 48 horas resistindo aqui nas nossas terras e a gente gostaria de denunciar isso que a gente está vivendo aqui para todo mundo, para que pressione as autoridades, mas principalmente o governo do estado de Minas Gerais, Romeu Zema, por permitir que esse despejo ilegal que está acontecendo aqui e que nós vamos resistir, mas por permitir que as tropas de várias cidades estejam aqui, ele está disseminando o vírus, a gente coloca a vida acima de qualquer coisa, esse governador não pensa na vida, ele pensa no lucro esse governador é covarde a gente precisa se juntar e pressionar as autoridades mas principalmente esse governador pela ilegalidade que ele está permitindo aqui, ele quebrou a nossa escola ele despejou as nossas famílias e agora aqui tem mais de 250 homens das polícias de vários municípios, de Belo Horizonte, de Alfenas, de Boa Esperança. Isso a gente não vai permitir. Nós estamos aqui e precisamos de todos, todos e todas, para denunciar isso que a gente está vivendo aqui, pressionar a autoridade, mas principalmente esse governador covarde. The eviction of the camp will result in the destruction of the agroecological harvest. At the camp, families produce corn, organic coffee, and dozens of other foods that are distributed at the cooperatives and stores of the MST. The federal deputy, Rogério Correa of the Workers' Party, classified the police action in the midst of the pandemic as cowardice. The movement has denounced that the police aggression against the members of the camp is commonplace. On July 30th, for example, more than 20 police officers invaded the camp and detained the landless worker, Celso Agosto, who they released later that day. The families also said that the police agents invaded their homes carrying rifles and pistols and destroyed doors and windows. The MST denounced that the day before the eviction began, the police encircled the camp with patrol cars, intimidating the families. Within Minas Gerais, Brazil, and on an international level, people mobilized to denounce the actions of the state government and the military police. The eviction of 450 families and the destruction of agroecological food production in the midst of a public health emergency has been deemed by many as criminal. The MST and the families of Quilombo Campo Grande have vowed to continue their struggle to produce healthy food for the Brazilian people and in defense of their right to land. Yeah, cantar, que vamos a triunfar, a